Aquaponics. It sounds like the latest audio gadget. Actually, it's way more useful than that. It's a combination of aquaculture and hydroponics, where the waste product of the former is used to sustain the latter. If you're thinking about raising your own food, aquaponics is the way to go. For agri-entrepreneurs and sustainable backyard farmers, it is a game changer. When man finally learned to plant his own crops, civilization started. No more dependence on hunting and gathering. Communities grew to become cities. But man turned wasteful. And instead of taking care of nature, he was making a mess of it. Now we are facing the consequences. But in a quiet corner of the city, armed with humility and some knowledge of modern technology, an unlikely set of people may have the answer to raising food and sustainability. The Don Bosco Street Village was established in 1993 as a center for abandoned children. Nagumpisa ang foundation na tinatawag Tuloy Foundation in 1993. Lumaki ng lumaki at naghanap kami ng lugar uh, for hectare and a half tapunan ng basura. Ngayon, it is a very big village for abandoned children. Here, Kids are taught many things, not the least of which is caring for the environment. And one effective way of teaching them about nature and harmony is through a fascinating technology called aquaponics. Aquaponics is the marriage of two systems. Aquaculture, the science of raising aquatic animals. And hydroponics, the technology of cultivating plants in water. In a typical aquaculture system, the main problem is the not-so-efficient disposal of fish excretions, which makes the water toxic. But in aquaponics, the harmful byproducts of the fish are passed through a system of pipes, which are then transported directly to the plants in water. The waste serves as the fertilizer of the plants. In return, the plants filter the water for the fish to thrive. It is a symbiotic system, one supporting the other in an eco-friendly, sustainable cycle. Ano rin siya, pwede siyang hub uh, na nakaka-relax. Tapos meron din siyang ano, uh, cooling effect. So magkakaroon siya ng evaporative cooling. So what happens is when the water evaporates, uh, it absorbs the heat. So yung area mo, nagkakaroon ka ng microclimate, mas malamig kesa dun sa ibang areas sa paligid mo. The very first models of aquaponics date back as early as the ancient Aztecs. South China, Thailand, and Indonesia also have their version of the harmonious system, rice paddies with fish. With aquaponics, it's like shooting two birds with one stone, with one process complementing the other. At the Don Bosco Street Children Village, it's like shooting three birds because the food they raise here are also used to feed the children. The aquaponics facility in Tuloy Foundation of Don Bosco provides a sufficient supply of food fish like tilapia and catfish, as well as ornamental ones such as goldfish. Lettuce and herbs are some of the plants that can be harvested from the facility. Indeed, it is a steady source of bounty and inspirational values. Ngayon ang mga bata dito, imbis na magtapon ng basura, nagahanap ng basura. Ginagawa ng composting. Kasi yun ang gagamitin sa mga halaman. Hindi na kailangan ng artificial fertilizer. With aquaponics, you really reap what you sow. Pwede pa lang makakua, makakain tayo ng mga organic plants na edible using aquaponics. At the same time, tinutulungan kami nito na maging mas nature lover. The facility in Don Bosco was made possible through donations amounting to 4 million pesos. 
but anyone can have a mini aquaponics facility right in one's home. Kung gagawa kayo ng ano, ng aquaponics, kailangan nyo ng tatlong pirasong crate. Dalawang klase ang gagamitin natin. Ito yung isa, yung butas-butas na crate. So butas siya sa gilid, tapos uh, butas-butas din siya sa ilalim. Ang purpose nito ay eh, magiging spacer siya. So meron naman dalawa, ito yung sarado lahat ng portions niya. Wala siyang butas. So ito yung magiging fish tank at saka yung isa naman magiging grow bed natin. Yung pangatlo, kailangan mo lang siyang butasan sa, sa ilalim. Ang purpose nitong butas sa ilalim para bumalik yung tubig. Kailangan din natin ng stand pipe para masabi mo kung gaano kalalim yung tubig. Kakabit lang natin siyang ganito. Yan. So ganyan na mangyayari. Ito yung ibabaw niya. Ito yung uh, stand pipe. Tapos sa ilalim naman, ito yung pupuntahan ng tubig. Pabalik sa fish tank. Kailangan natin ng bell siphon. Ang purpose lang niya para pag umabot dito sa ibabaw ng stand pipe yung tubig, uubusin naman niya. Magkakaroon siya ng siphon effect. Ito naman yung pump natin. So pumili kayo yung medyo mataas ang head or yung kaya niya yung pump na height. Lalagay lang natin yung pump sa ilalim. Tapos ipiti naman natin ng cable tie dito para hindi matanggal yung hose para mag-flow yung tubig dito. Patakbuhin mo lang. Pwede ka na magtanim pagkatapos yun. Fresh, organic, and practically free. And with some of life's lessons and values thrown in after each harvest, what more can you ask for? So don't say we didn't warn you. The zombie apocalypse may be a long ways off, but for doomsday preppers, aquaponics is a perfect system to raise one's own food. Then again, we don't have to wait for the end of the world to try it and reap its bountiful harvest. Before I go, remember, anything, any idea, anybody can be a game changer. Are you?